Hey, how we doing? So I want to take a minute this week and go over a little bit of what we bought throughout the week at thrift stores. I know a lot of you have been following my other videos and have mentioned that you don't understand why I don't show you the items I bought. A lot of those trip videos, the ride-alongs that you were going with me, I was hitting some of my retail arbitrage where I am grabbing items that are my replenishables. I will probably never show you what I buy for the replenishables simply because of the fact that they're, they're golden. You know, that's, that's my money maker. That's where if I show it to you guys, hundreds of you are going to run out and buy the same item and it's going to be a race to the bottom for the pricing and I'll lose all profit whatsoever in it and no longer make money on it. So that is the, the strategy why I don't give you those exact items. However, I will always show you what I buy at a thrift store, the one-offs, the stuff that you'd be on the lookout for, for you to pick up and maybe purchase. So that's what this video is here, here today. Now, uh, <clears throat> where do we get started? Well, let's start with this find right here. This is one of my favorites. If you ever see these bears, nice little Stife logo, if it has the tag in the ear, the little button tag here, and even better, if it has the original tags, you're golden. These things are uh, like handmade from Germany. They're worth a decent buck. You know, this one I happen to find buried in the toys, listed for 99 cents, and will sell probably between 20 and $30 on eBay all day long. So uh, if it was the fuller size bear, I could probably get a couple hundred dollars for it. So be on the lookout for those type of things. Uh, here's another find that uh, happened to pick up at a thrift store. Paid $2.99 for it. So uh, I'll probably send it into Amazon. Um, don't remember off the top of my head, I did do the comp balls in the store. It's practically brand new. Only thing it was really missing on the outside is, is the cellophane wrap to hold it in. But... Uh, I want to say that was, you know, another $20 bill right there. So, um, picked up some shoes. So, Euro Step, they're kind of like a, a clog. These were $6.99, actually, I think we got those half off that day. Um, we pretty much hit the thrift stores every day, uh, see what we can find. Sometimes I go to the same store three, four days in a row. You never know what else you're going to find in there. So, um, besides those Euro Steps, we happened to pick up, pick up a pair of these Ariat boots. Again, uh, got those on, on half price. But uh, the comps look good on them. We're going to clean them up, make them look nice and pretty. So, cassette recorder. Picked this baby up last night and uh, tested it in the store and see that it is playing. So I know it's working. Um, just need to clean it up a little bit, list it. It had batteries in it, uh, no corrosion. So that was how I was able to test it. <coughs> what else? Oh, little deal or no deal uh, video game. You hook it up to your TV. That'll bring a few bucks. You know, it, it's sometimes the little things that bring you four or five dollars profit that, you know, you add them up. Yeah, it's a little bit more work, but those are easier finds for the people who are starting out and looking for things. Look for the three, four dollar profit. Don't go looking for the fifty, sixty dollar profit from day one. Um, these were some uh, Disney yearbooks. This was kind of funny because uh, we walked by, we were looking for uh, regular yearbooks, kind of like this one that you find and you never know, somebody famous could be in it, could be worth a few bucks. You know, this is from 1979, somebody may be looking for that one. So Kath had uh, pointed out, hey look, Disney's got a yearbook. I went, ha ha ha, funny, let's scan it. So when I put in the ISBN number, because it doesn't have the barcode, I was actually shocked what these things are selling for, both on eBay and Amazon. Um, so it uh, picked up a couple of those, different editions, different years, ranging 1999 to 2010. So uh, we picked up some clothing items, uh, nice guest dress shirt, obviously it's a little wrinkly so we need to go through and uh, steam it and make it look nice and pretty. So um, 99 cents, figured uh, can't go wrong, let's give it a try. Another clothing item we picked up, Brooks Brothers, uh, quarter zip, 
nice little uh, cotton shirt. So, uh, picked it up for three dollars because it was five ninety nine, but fifty percent off that day. So I wish it was uh, next size larger because then it would fit me, but uh, doesn't. Uh, that day while we were in the thrift store, I stumbled upon this bad boy. So now you're thinking, okay, it's just a blazer, right? Eight ninety nine for a blazer nothing spectacular I opened it up inside and this is what I like to see 100% camel hair uh, comps on it were showing pretty good uh, I'll probably make 30 40 bucks on this coat alone um, just gotta find the right seller and it's an item that you know might not sell overnight might take a month two months the right buyers gotta come along for it I'm fine waiting for that. Um, oh, here's another item that, you know, we're joking around in the store. Unicorn poop maker. Really? Ha ha ha, funny. This stuff is what you gotta look out for. The rarities, the one-offs, the things that you think are crazy, look them up. People buy them as gag gifts all day long. This one, we're not sure yet uh, if we're gonna list it and sell it or uh, send it over to uh, Allie Roots. Uh, we know how much she loves unicorns, but I think she has one of these. Kathy was thinking, you know, we could send it over to Allie. But uh, I think I saw in one of her other videos, somebody already sent her the poop maker. You know, we find unicorn stuff all day long, and we don't pick up on it. Uh, maybe we need to start picking it up and sending it over to her. Show her, you know, our thanks for the video she puts out. Uh, what else do we got? Little handheld electronic games. 99 cent pickup. We'll make three, four bucks on it. So, uh... You know, these little things all day long, pick them up. Couple of Guitar Hero guitars. The uh, Aerosmith edition. So these are something new that we're getting into. And uh, the way we plan on doing them, bundling them with the games. So all, all through my travels, I was able to pick up some uh, Guitar Hero, both for the PlayStation, Xbox, the Wii, so. But, uh, you know, the best was uh, finding this that goes right with that one guitar and this other one that goes with the other guitar. Because then you can bundle them together and make even more money. These alone, a couple of bucks. Um, you know, the, the Smash Hit one was probably one I was going to make the most on. And uh, when you bundle it with the guitar, you make even more. So, uh, what else we got here? A little cassette recorder. So, it, uh, the micro cassettes. And it comes with an adapter to hook it to your phone. Not like a cell phone, a, a standard landline phone. So it, uh, that uh, will be uh, interesting. You know, the comps on it showed pretty good. But again, it, the right buyer's got to come along, make a few bucks. Nothing major. Uh, original Xbox controller. Again, a couple of bucks. Well, the right buyer come along, buy it. They were selling both on eBay and Amazon. These Wilton cake pans. Not every one of them is profitable. Not every one of them is a great buy. You got to do your research. And when you can find the right characters, the right everything else, people want them. So, you know, we typically pick them up a buck or two, and are able to sell them for ten, twelve, fifteen dollars. You know, after fees, everything else, we we usually do those on eBay after fees. You know, shipping. You make a few bucks, three, four bucks on them. So, um, this guy, this was a find that uh, I find funny because the retail sticker on it was sold at five below. It's five dollars. Bought it at two ninety nine in the thrift store. However, when I scanned it, it's going for ridiculous money, both on eBay and Amazon. It's new in the box. The box is a little crushed, so I probably wouldn't sell it as brand new, but like new condition because it is still sealed. Um, you know, turn around and make 20 bucks. Uh, speaking of games, so let me uh, take the camera here off of the tripod. So speaking of games, we got a bunch of board games over here that we picked up. So and you're thinking, hey, wait a minute. A lot of Trivial Pursuit, Life, Scrabble, Pictionary, an old version of Scrabble. 
What if all the pieces aren't there? What if it's missing things? What if, what if, what if? Yeah, what if? Because if we think about all the what ifs, we'd never make any money. You know, if all the pieces aren't there, well, then I've got a couple versions of it. For Trivial Pursuit, people will pay money just for the cards. You know, restaurants, bars, they like having that stuff in there. But chances are the pieces are there or it might be missing one or two pieces and I can go find them through garage sales, thrift stores by buying multiple copies of them. Piece one together and make a good buck, especially the older games. Um, almost consider them like vintage stuff from, you know, 80s, 90s. Um, if you can find the 1970 versions, um, I did find uh, a Monopoly and a um, Scrabble edition that were from in the 70s that I was like, all right, this is going to be great. I opened them up and they were just completely covered in mold. Yeah, I could have probably cleaned them, but too much work for me to make a few bucks. Nothing, you know, major could be made off of them. So, um, talking five, ten bucks. So, uh, if you get some of the, the, the sealed copies, that's even better. Nobody's played with it. Everybody wants it. Um, a couple of those boxes, when I opened them up here, the games have all the pieces still sealed in bags, hadn't been opened. So, um, yeah. So, what else did we get? Well, I decided to take a little gamble with an electronic item. This nice little uh, six CD changer. So, why did I gamble with it? You know, the price, $12.99. I normally probably would not have bought it for that, but it was 50% off. So, I took the risk, because the comps look good on it. Sorry guys, putting your back on the tripod here. Maybe not. All right, screw the tripod. So the comps looked really good on it. And uh, you know, I plugged it in in the store. It cycled through all six. It ejected the, the changer cartridge. So I have an, a ton of RCA cables so I could throw cables in with it. I don't have the remote. I'm gonna see if I can find the manual because those all increase values. I did see a remote on eBay for seven bucks. So it may be worth it for me to buy that remote and add it to it just to get the added value. So, so that's what we bought, you know, watch for my later videos after we list this stuff and I'll show you what it sells for. So get out there and do.